What daughter tried to shoot me? <laughs> Your daughter tried to shoot you? <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Crime Chronicles. Today, we're diving into a shocking and emotional story that has captured headlines and hearts alike. We'll explore the case of 14-year-old Carly Gregg, who has been charged with the unthinkable, the murder of her own mother. What led to this tragic event? Join me as we unpack the details, the background, and the broader implications of this heartbreaking situation. Make sure to stick around, because you won't want to miss this. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more crime videos. 14-year-old Carly Gregg has been charged with the murder of her mother, a case that has captivated the nation and raised questions about juvenile crime, mental health, and family dynamics. The tragic incident, which took place in a small town, has left a community in mourning and sparked widespread media coverage. Carly Gregg was described as a typical teenager. She was known to be bright, with aspirations of becoming a veterinarian, and enjoyed spending time with her friends and family. However, underneath the surface, there were signs of distress that many may not have recognized. Her mother, a single parent, had reportedly struggled with mental health issues and had a tumultuous relationship with Carly. This complicated dynamic set the stage for an unimaginable tragedy. On the evening of the incident, local law enforcement received a frantic call from Carly, claiming that her mother had been attacked. When officers arrived at their home, they discovered the lifeless body of 38-year-old Lisa Gregg. The scene was chaotic, with Carly appearing distraught and confused. However, as the investigation unfolded, the narrative began to shift. Initial reports suggested a potential home invasion or an outside perpetrator, but as detectives delved deeper, they began to focus their attention on Carly. Investigators found inconsistencies in her statements and uncovered evidence that pointed to a much darker reality. Forensic analysis revealed that the cause of death was blunt force trauma, and several items in the home indicated a struggle. Carly's behavior during questioning raised eyebrows. While most children in such a traumatic situation would exhibit signs of shock or grief, Carly's demeanor was notably calm, which led detectives to question her involvement further. As the investigation progressed, authorities uncovered a history of conflict between Carly and her mother, with reports of arguments and tensions escalating in the weeks leading up to the incident. After thorough investigation, Carly Gregg was arrested and charged with first-degree murder. This charge was particularly controversial given her age. Many felt it was unprecedented to prosecute a minor for such a severe crime. The case was further complicated by the debate surrounding Carly's mental health, with experts suggesting that her actions could have been influenced by emotional turmoil, a troubled upbringing, or even the potential for undiagnosed mental health issues. Carly's legal team argued that she was a victim of her circumstances and that the events leading to her mother's death were not premeditated. They suggested that Carly had been living in a toxic environment and that her actions may have been a result of self-defense or a desperate attempt to escape a harmful situation. However, prosecutors maintained that the evidence indicated otherwise, presenting a narrative of a troubled adolescent who acted out violently against her mother. The news of Carly's arrest sent shockwaves through the community. Many residents expressed disbelief that a young girl could be involved in such a heinous act, while others pointed to the failures of the system that allowed a family to reach such a breaking point. Mental health advocates began to speak out about the importance of early intervention and support for families struggling with issues like depression, anxiety, and trauma. Community forums were held to discuss the implications of the case, and the narrative surrounding juvenile crime took center stage. Parents and educators expressed concerns about the pressures facing today's youth and the need for better support systems to help children navigate their emotional and mental health challenges. Carly Gregg's case raises essential questions about how society handles juvenile offenders, particularly those charged with serious crimes. It highlights the need for a comprehensive approach that considers not just the actions of the child, but also the circumstances that led to such actions. The criminal justice system often struggles to balance accountability with rehabilitation, especially when it comes to minors. Moreover, 
The case underscores the necessity of addressing mental health issues within families. Experts argue that many cases of juvenile crime can be traced back to untreated psychological issues, and they advocate for increased access to mental health resources for both children and parents. This tragedy serves as a reminder that intervention can sometimes prevent a crisis from escalating to violence. The case of Carly Gregg is a heartbreaking example of how complicated family dynamics and mental health struggles can culminate in tragedy. As legal proceedings continue, the implications of this case will likely be felt far beyond the courtroom. It challenges society to reflect on its responsibilities toward vulnerable youth and the importance of fostering healthy family environments. Ultimately, the story of Carly Gregg serves as a cautionary tale about the unseen struggles many families face and the critical need for empathy, understanding, and support in our communities. Thanks for watching. If you found this story as impactful as I did, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the circumstances surrounding Carly Gregg's case? Don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into compelling stories and important topics. Until next time, take care and stay curious.